In order to move our hands, electrochemical signals travel from the brain, through the nerves, to the muscles, which contract and create the intended movement. The Alfred Mann Foundation has developed the implantable myoelectric sensor, known as the IMES system. It is a minimally invasive, intuitive control system for prosthetics that takes advantage of the electrochemical signals that exist in the body. Wireless IMES sensors are implanted into the residual limb of an amputee, where they detect the signals going to the muscles that control specific movements. These signals are captured and sent wirelessly from the implanted sensor to a decoder box, which serves as an electronic brain. Here, the signals in the nerves and muscles are translated into the intended movement in the artificial limb. Essentially, the IMES system bridges the brain and the artificial limb, enabling the brain to intuitively control the prosthesis. In AMF's ongoing trial at the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center with affected veterans, the FDA has approved the operation of three simultaneous degrees of freedom. Opening and closing the hand, rotating the wrist 360 degrees, and lateral movement of the thumb. Combining these three movements enables several grasps that are invaluable for performing everyday tasks. It looks like he walked off the set of the latest science fiction movie. But for U.S. Marine Staff Sergeant James Sides, this is real life. And I remember being on my left side in the fetal position with dust in the air, my ears were ringing, and I was confused, and then I realized what happened. It was spring of 2012 when Sergeant Sides was on his second deployment in Afghanistan, working as a bomb tech, putting his life on the line every day to dismantle unexploded IEDs until one mission didn't go as planned. It was booby-trapped and it detonated when I was on top of it. That explosion left Sergeant Sides without a hand. There's no point in, oh, I lost my hand. That doesn't get you anywhere. It was that positive attitude, bravery, and even a sense of humor that made him a candidate for this, a first-of-its-kind prosthetic that uses sensors surgically implanted in the limb as well as a motorized thumb. If I want to pick something up, it's intuitive and fluid, just like I, if I had a hand. Sides has eight sensors implanted in his limb. They help him articulate his fingers, use that special motor in the thumb, and rotate his hand. And he can do all of them at once. I'm actually rotating my forearm inside of the prosthetic to make it do this. And then with the thumb, move the thumb muscle up, comes up, contract my thumb muscle, it goes down.